So the NRA has been basically in the crosshairs to, you know, so to speak for the last few months, especially after, um, countless mass shootings taking place. The NRA has stepped up their game. They've got NRA TV. They're out there trying to say that we have to have guns to protect ourselves from everything in the world. And so they're really upping their game. But this week they decided to do something to kind of drop the whole facade of being a lobbying organization for the second amendment and to being a full blown criminal enterprise. And the thing that they did was to appoint Ali North, a convicted criminal as their new president. So the NRA, the National Rifle Association is now being run by a convicted felon. And I'm not just talking about a guy who maybe got popped for a drug conviction. No, I'm sure anybody who knows Oliver North's history understands that this man was one of the most notorious gun runners in the Iran Contra scandal helped set up these back channels for weapons and money to flow through Iran, who the Trump administration wants to go ahead and change their regime to Nicaragua. And here's the sad, sick, twisted part. The money that Iran got from doing this for Oliver, Oliver North and the uh, Reagan administration is what helped launch Al Qaeda. Ali North, is partly directly responsible for a lot of the problems that we currently have all over the world. And now the NRA looks at this man after he spent a year in prison uh, a couple decades ago for this and says, yep, that's our guy. That's the new face of the NRA. Yeah, he funneled money to terrorists. Yeah, he funneled weapons across the globe illegally. Isn't that what the NRA is all about? Because for real, Isn't that what the NRA is all about? Seriously, that's basically what they're doing now. They're taking money from hostile foreign powers to further their agenda. They don't care about weapons being traded and sold on the black market. They don't care about the fact that children are getting mowed down in schools. As long as it means more money from them and from the gun manufacturers who actually fund the organization, they'll put up any criminal they want as their president because they think that that makes them look better.